welcome back to seven engineers youtube channel in this practical video i will guide you for steel reinforcement details in the construction of this rcc slab they did already some common mistakes so let me point out those mistakes different of you if this video is helpful for you so you may like this video guys you can see this is rcc slab and they did singly mesh with the spacing of 6 by 12 inches they used here 12 millimeter dia of steel rod you can see the shuttering is already done on the top of this they placed steel reinforcement main bars and distribution bars on the other side guys you can see they did 4 feet cantilever slab this is singly mesh now what are the common mistakes in this construction if you see guys they provided more than 50 percent of lapping length at the distance of l by 4 are where we provide normally crank bar or extra steel rods instead of extra steel rods or crank bar they provided lapping length so this is one of the big mistakes in this construction this is the junction between beam and column guys you can see the span between two columns is here 30 feet this is 30 feet span if you see the depth of the beam is 12 inches width is also 12 inches so this is the second big mistake that's why because they didn't use the proper steel reinforcement and they don't have the steel structure design therefore they will face more problems in the future they used three numbers of steel rods at the bottom and two at the top guys you can see the dia is 16 millimeter but the span is 30 feet if you see the spacing of stirrups which is about nine inches they used 10 millimeter dia of steel rod guys you can see clearly they used a lapping length on the top of floor beam this is the place to provide extra steel rods or crank bar to resist negative bending moment as you can see guys they already provided sanitary pipe inside this rcc column so this is the other big mistake so if you see in this construction you will see more than 10 big mistakes Look here, this is the other beam which is 28 feet span. Longer beam is 30 feet and shorter beam is about 24 feet. But they didn't follow the rules regulation of ACI IS, especially for steel structure design. They did the design only by a steel fixer. So therefore, this is not a proper steel reinforcement design. So therefore, if you are going more than two story, so you should hire the structural engineer to give you the structural design for foundation, beam, column, slab. But unfortunately, they did a lot of mistakes in the construction of this beam. Look here, guys. Anywhere you will find a lot of mistakes, especially lapping length spacing of stirrups hooks are bent on 90 degree they didn't use any crank bar this is singly mesh on the top of this they will provide doubly mesh you can see the steel reinforcement alignment this is not okay also so guys this is a short video to show you these kind of big mistakes in the construction of rcc slab beam spin between two column etc hope this short